Hey, my name is Attorney Walter Rudolph Not the Third, and I'm with Disability Resolution PA. One of the things that I wanted to cover with you today, which is sometimes popping up, um, is that you know a claimant will come forward and say, "Hey, can I bring my social worker or my caseworker or the person that helps me at this facility to my hearing as a witness?" Yes, the only people that I do not take, no matter what, no matter what, eh, there's a few little women, but you know, in general, no matter what, the only people I don't take as witnesses are usually people who are in relations with each other, okay? Let's simplify that. They're having sex with each other. The reason why is because if that person's in the room and a question is asked and, you know, one of them makes a certain smirk or one of them moves their eyes a certain way, oh, it's over. It's over. That person's focus is gone. It's totally gone. They, all that training we did, all of that testimony shaping we did, and eh, that stuff is gone. That's not in their mind. The rolling of the eyes just occurred. It's done. Now, other people, yes. But remember, if they're there just to go ahead and verify what you're already saying, they can do that in a written statement. And remember, the story they bring forward needs to be something, okay? that's new and interesting and has a specific element as to why they're required to talk about it from their perspective, okay? I'm gonna do another video on things you need to go ahead and do when you're in there and you have a witness, but for right now, just focus on that information, okay? My name is Attorney Walter Roof, not the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA, and I'll catch you later, all right? Remember, by the time you watch this video, the information may in fact be old hat, and please remember as well that dot dot dot. If you have a unique question for your unique claim, give me a call and we'll walk through it. All right, thanks so much. Bye-bye.